Hey guys, Matt Weintraud here with Fujifilm. Today we're talking about how your camera makes decisions in regards to autofocus. The AF mode options give us the power to decide how much of the sensor the camera analyzes while it's acquiring focus on a subject. This option can be changed under the AFMF section of the menu or in the quick menu. We often get questions about the all option under the AF mode selection screen. To understand that, we first need to understand the other three options. Single point provides a solitary focus point that gives the camera one location on the sensor to find focus. It can change in location and even in size, but the camera will only search for focus in that one position. Zone allows for the camera to choose from multiple single points within a restricted area. There are three sizes of zone for you to pick from with increasing numbers of focus points in them. Wide slash tracking is a two-part autofocus mode. The wide portion is active when the camera's focus mode selector is placed in the S or single position and allows for the camera to choose freely from all of the focus points on the sensor with no direction from the user. If we leave the AF mode set to wide slash tracking and switch the focus mode selector to C or continuous, we're now in tracking mode. You'll see a white box appear on the screen. The camera will find focus on the subject in the box and will move the focus point across the sensor if the subject moves. Now let's go back to the earlier question. What is all? All is simply a quicker way of navigating between the other three options. Simply push the focus lever directly in and roll the command dial on the back of the camera to access single, zone, and wide slash tracking. The camera will indicate the changing of the autofocus mode at the top of the screen as you scroll through. One last tip. If you have face detection turned on, the camera will automatically override your chosen focus area when it finds a face so it may not always be the best option. Now you know more about how your Fujifilm camera handles autofocus areas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.